What's going on everybody? This is Brad with Being Chill. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the new RTX 3000 series cards, whether or not I think they're worth it, and I want to take a look at what could be some really big performance gains for the money. So I'm excited to talk about these cards. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to start off by saying right now if you think that you are looking to upgrade your graphics card or if you were previously interested in buying a 2000 series card, definitely wait on buying the 2000 series and I would highly recommend purchasing or pre-ordering one of these cards because I have no doubt in my mind that these are going to be in high demand and you're going to want to get your hands on one if you've been looking to upgrade. So right off the bat I'm going to go over some of the tech specs of these different cards. I'm going to put some graphics up on the screen so you guys can follow along with me. I'm going to start out with the GeForce RTX 3090. This card is aimed at replacing Titan cards that are already on the market and it's worth noting that this card is about a thousand dollars cheaper than the already existing RTX Titan card. The, this card has 10,496 CUDA cores, 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X VRAM, and it's going to start retailing at $1499 US dollars. This card is expected to release on September 24th. It's also worth noting that this card has two PCI Express 8 pins, and this is the only card that is SLI ready out of all the 3000 series cards that have been announced already and this card consumes about 350 watts of power. The next card I want to talk about is the GeForce RTX 3080. This card has 8,704 CUDA cores, 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X VRAM, and it's going to start retailing about 699 US dollars with a release date of September 17th. This card also has two PCI Express 8 pins and consumes 320 watts of power. And lastly, the card I want to talk about is the GeForce RTX 3070. Now this is the card that everyone is probably most excited for. It is claiming to be faster than the 2080 Ti, a card that was just $1,200 US dollars last week. This card has 5,888 CUDA cores, 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM, and is going to start retailing at a price of only $499. The release date for this one is only October. They haven't given a specific date for this one yet. This one also only has one PCIe 8-pin lane, and it consumes 220 watts of power. If you still have a 1080 Ti or any other of the 1000 series cars and you're wondering if now is the time to upgrade, NVIDIA has come out themselves and said that if you have any Pascal architecture cards, now is definitely a safe time to upgrade. It seems really with this line of cards and the pricing, they're really trying to kill off the 1080 Ti and similar cards. So if you're waiting, now is a good time to jump in, especially at these price to performance ratios. You really can't beat them. Now some of you guys might be wondering about the size of these cards and if they're going to fit in your case. With the measurements that have come out, it's pretty safe to assume that yes, these cards will fit in your case. You won't have much to worry about there. But you should definitely measure and double check just in case. These cards are about the same size as the 1080 Ti and 2080 Ti cards and their aftermarket variants. So if you could fit those cards in your case, there's almost a guarantee that you're going to be able to fit these new cards in your case as well. So I wouldn't worry too much about the size of these cards. The next topic that I want to talk about is cooling. Nvidia is claiming that these cards have 55% more airflow than their previous cards. And they're also stating that they are three times quieter than their previous cards. Now this is an important distinction because it's really hard to measure quietness in decibels or however you do it. It can be very misleading. I wouldn't lead too much into this. I would probably think that these cards are going to be around as quiet as other cards on the market today. But I don't really think many people are buying these cards because of how quiet they are. So I don't really think this is a big issue. Nvidia is claiming that these cards are 30% more efficient than their previous cards as well. Now that is an important distinction when talking about cooling because the less power that these things need to run, the less heat that they're going to be outputting and that would directly translate to running a cooler card. They are trying to do direct pass through fans now where cool air comes straight in and goes straight out the bottom of the card, cooling the components in the card on the way out and it's also putting that air back inside your case which has the potential to cool other components in your case that are attached to the motherboard. Typically in the past we've seen less performance increase with the first generation graphics card releases on new architecture. You almost always see a greater jump in performance in that second iteration. So what we're seeing right here is Ampere iterating on RTX what we've seen in the past and we are seeing the highest 
price to performance ratio increase in cards that we've seen in quite some time. One cool new feature we're seeing with these cards is the use of VRAM to eliminate the bottleneck of SSDs during gaming. Now it's going to be using some of that VRAM for decompression of the game files directly without having to go through the SSD, which will allow games to run smoother and faster. This also eliminates some of the wasted VRAM that we've had in previous cards. A lot of the time they just put a lot of overhead on these cards. You usually have more VRAM than you can use and it's nice to see that they're starting to take advantage of some of that VRAM with this new SSD decompression. It's important to note really how fast the RAM in these cards is. The RAM that they're putting in the 3000 series cards is clocking in at 19 gigabits per second. That is incredibly fast compared to RAM that we've seen in the past. I've never seen price decreases that large from NVIDIA ever. So a lot of people are speculating that AMD has something up their sleeve and I really hope they do. People are speculating that AMD is going to release a new powerful graphics card at a low price and that this whole 3000 series release out of nowhere was just NVIDIA trying to protect themselves and get ahead of what AMD is offering. I for one hope that AMD has something up their sleeve because that can only be good for gamers. Competition increases performance and decreases price, so I can't wait to see what AMD has in store. Now, if AMD does release something huge, there's a chance that we could see NVIDIA releasing a 3060 card, a card that's probably gonna come in around 300 US dollars and a card that is still gonna outperform most 2000 series cards, I would argue probably up to the 2080 or 2080 supers. One thing that's important to note about RTX is there's some games out there that do support RTX, but the large majority of them do not yet support it. NVIDIA has sent their engineers out and got a lot of the big game engines like Unity and Unreal to add support for RTX, but we're seeing a lot of developers, they're just not adding RTX support to their existing library of games, but instead they're choosing to add RTX to their future games. And that's reasonable to expect, but if more people start buying these RTX cards, we could see that shift start happening where they start to go back and support their old titles or we could just see more titles starting to be released to try to take advantage of this new market. Now if you've been looking to upgrade I would say there is not a better time than now. You should pre-order these cards. I have a feeling they're going to be highly in demand and especially because of coronavirus they might have a hard time keeping up with them and they might be out of stock for a while. So if you have a 1000 series or lower card definitely a good time to upgrade. I definitely could see myself getting the RTX 3070 just because the price to performance ratio of that card is insane. Well that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you subscribe I'll be more motivated to make these videos in the future. Please leave some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Feel free to share this anywhere. It helps me grow. Starting out small YouTuber is difficult. So I appreciate all the support I've gotten thus far and I hope to see more of you guys in the future. Peace.